Hi everyone, welcome back to GameMakerCast. It's Mickey, and in this video lesson, we're going to be working on the level design and also a camera. We're going to be building the level out so we can build upon that in our future videos. And then we're also going to be setting up our camera to use a boundary camera and follow our character. So let's roll the introduction and let's get right into it. So included in the initial project that you could have downloaded at the start, there's a bunch of these sprites in here. And if you're wondering where I got them, inside the notes folder, there's the sources and you can check them out. There, most of them are from opengameart.org and there's a few other sites in there as well. Now in particularly, I got the tile set from, I believe, Open Game Art, and I modified it just slightly so we were able to use auto tile and that's where we're gonna be using to build our level. Let's repurpose this room test character to name it room level. And then inside this room level, let's add a new tile set. We'll add it right to the background here. We'll call it TS floor. Make sure that we select the tile set that's already set up in our project. Now to help me get things started, I'm gonna drag out some lines here. I'll drag out a line to 960 and then again to 960. And the reason I'm using 960 is because a room is 1920. So we want half of that on each, the horizontal and vertical lines. So now I should be able to take my auto tile because everything's set up. And just to show that it's working, if I draw a square here and I start coloring it in, you can see that it's turning the proper, it's making the proper tiles. So I'm just going to go ahead and click my rectangle, right click and delete everything that I had. Now with auto tile selected again, I'm going to set my brush size to 30 and go in the middle of my room and then just stamp it down. Now to build the corridors, I'll set my brush size to 20. And then at the top, I'm going to zoom in a little here and I'm just going to have it so it's two boxes above. And I'll do the same for the left and right. I think that one's off, so we'll redo it. Now with the level out of the way, all we have to do is go over to our instances. Let's make sure we delete the solid object and we'll also delete the assets. So above our floor, we'll create another instances and let's just call this one solids. And then in here using our solid object, we'll zoom in and we're just gonna drag the solid object out and we're gonna cover the walls of our level here. Now you can see that sometimes I left some tails here. It has no effect on our game. I'm just trying to make sure I cover the room completely and quickly. Now with our collision out of the way, let's go back up to instances and let's take our character and let's move him somewhere in the middle. We'll actually put him over here, just in the upper quadrant. Our cursor, we can leave the same, but I wanna make a new layer and I'm just gonna call this one camera. In this layer, we already have set up a camera object and a bounce camera. So I'm gonna add these to the layer. I'm gonna use my bounce camera and I'm gonna put him in the middle of my player. And this is very important that we keep it in the middle. I'm gonna add some padding to the left, right, and also the top and the bottom. If you're unsure how a bounce camera works, basically what happens is when our character is past the boundary, the boundary itself, I select it here, will move with the character. And if you want a more in-depth tutorial, you can check out the video in the description below as we already covered this in a previous video. So to get everything set up, let's choose our camera again, go to the camera object, go into variables and tell the camera that we wanna follow our boundary and then tell the boundary that we want to follow our player. Now, I think the only thing left to do is go into our other room here, choose our object in it, bring over the variables again, and instead of using a room test character because that no longer exists, let's use RM level. Let's run the game and see if we've missed anything. Now we should be able to run around, collide with our walls, which you can see is happening here, we can also shoot our fireballs. And if I hit the space key, you can see that my health is also going down. I know this video was short, but our room is now complete and we can move forward with things like enemies and also our zones to start spawning them. Again, thank you everyone for watching this video and a special shout out to the following people for their continued support through Patreon. Jujub84, Edward, Victor, Annie, Robert, Vil, Ian, Andrea and Paul. Thank you everyone so much for your continued support. If you have a request, please leave it in the comments below and please like or subscribe to my videos. Thanks again.